Welcome to the Thomas Robert Fitness Channel. Explore weightlifting, calisthenics and cardiovascular training for the ultimate fusion of strength, endurance and lifelong health. I hope you are doing well, it's Thomas Robert and in today's video I would like to dig deep into the realm of the notorious Bulgarian Split Squat. Before we would jump into the details and the correct form of this exercise, I would like to share the top benefits of this golden drill. Since it is a unilateral exercise, the Bulgarian split squat helps to improve balance, stability and coordination between the legs. By targeting the quadriceps, hamstrings and glutes, this exercise creates significant muscular tension and damage. Therefore, it's an excellent choice to build muscle size and strength. The Bulgarian split squat involves a deep range of motion at the hip joint, which helps to improve hip mobility. This exercise helps to improve joint stability, particularly around the knee and hip joints. By strengthening the muscles and connected tissues surrounding these joints, you can reduce the risk of injuries such as sprains and strains. This is especially beneficial for athletes or individuals involved in activities that place high demand on the lower body. Bulgarian split squat can be a suitable exercise for individuals who have experienced lower back injuries. Which is more like this. Oh my god! Anyway, since the weight is typically held in the hands, dumbbells or kettlebells or weight plates, it places less stress and compression on the vertebral column compared to exercises like back squat. If you would like to have clear understanding about how to effectively train your body, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. This exercise is particularly beneficial for tall athletes, just like me at 6 foot 4, 194 centimeters. This is my fiancée Sandra at 5 foot 3, 164 centimeters. This is a great comparison for you to see the significant height differences. Place a bench, step or elevated surface behind you. Ensure that it is stable and can support approximately 10% of your body weight. If you don't want to measure the distance of your stance every single time, here is a quick solution for you. Measure it only once. <laughs> or you can have this quick little setup. Sit on a bench, straighten your working leg forward. This will set up your stance once and for all. Place your back foot on the bench so as your sole is facing upwards. Begin the movement by bending your front knee and lowering your body toward the ground. Lower yourself until your front thigh is parallel to the ground or slightly below, aiming for a full range of motion. Allow your front knee to extend beyond your toes, which will increase the work in the quadriceps. Keep your front knee in line with your toes, preventing it from collapsing inward. Instead of forcing your trunk to be completely upright, follow the natural path of the squatting movement. At the bottom, your shin and your trunk will be parallel with each other. My expert tip is that start with your body weight or lighter loads if you are new to the exercise, gradually increasing the resistance as you gain strength and confidence. Focus on the most fundamental training concept, the progressive overload. It would be great to hear about your experience with this powerful exercise, so please share it in the comment section and see you next time.